Well, when it comes to fashion and you're looking for a fix on this Friday, do not worry because we've got the fashion fix up next. It's Fashion Fix on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, your one-stop shop for all the latest in fashion trending from around the world and even here at home. And our eclectic style squad is here to ensure that you're getting the best of the absolute best headed into this weekend. Expresso fashion editor Nick Strelitz is in the house, hey. presenter Tabuji Imtimunia is in the house, Hi. and content creator Seth Shezzy is here too. Welcome, Thank squad. You. Thank you. You guys make me smile, <laughs> honestly. Hey. Fashion Fix is here. Yes. Seth. You're looking yes. amazing. Thank yeah. you. Why well, are you looking so all you. fine? <laughs> I've been reading up on all the international news. Okay. So, um, uh -huh. For instance, starting this week, actually, um, the biggest story in international fashion is, believe it or not, Celine Dion. Wow. Mm. I know. We all know she can sing, but yes. who knew she actually knew anything about fashion? Okay. I didn't. So, uh, I didn't. <laughs> very true. So um, back in the day, you remember from 99 at the Oscars, she wore that um, backwards back tuxedo. Front, and yes. Yeah, I mean, that was a shocker. And to show us that this this wasn't just a one-time fluke. Mm. She continued throughout the t early 2000s oh. wearing some oh. questionable Legendary. outfits. <laughs> well, um, when she performed at the Billboard Awards, exactly, yes. my, yeah. um, she came back to perform for the My Heart Will Go On anniversary, um, and she looked, I mean, obviously exquisite in yeah. a couture gown by mm. Stefano Roland. Since then, she's actually been like touted as like the new fashion it girl, wow. yeah. um, yep. looking great in Paris. Um, and InStyle did an entire sort of transformation um, story on her. Yeah. A Vogue. Um, gave her an entire takeover of her Instagram mm. account and even Vanity Fair actually called her a fashion icon. Listen, like Whoa. wine, wine, she gets one to our high. I don't know if I'm ready to believe it I yet, but this. there you have yeah. it. Awesome Very stuff. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about Bonang's book launch. Yeah. Uh, what's happening locally, Nick? Well, yeah. you said it, but yes. uh, thanks for that. <laughs> that was supposed to be Intro. mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, Bonang is, is back. We talked about her last week. Mm. I'm sorry to Bush, but Listen. girl, when you got it, flown <laughs> it, yes. she's got it. So she mm. dropped her new autobiography this week, Banang from A to B. Mm. Personally, I think it should be called from A to Z because A to B ain't that far to go, girl. That's like it's around another the block. Book. There's another book. No, She's gonna write another book. Well, no, I get it. I, I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. Another still from the book there. But in it, she talks really heartfelt about the journey she came to from nothing and made it to, you know, starting alongside Halle Berry in, yeah. you know, international beauty campaign. She's mm. really come a long way. Mm. Also dropped her B-mojis this week as mm. if she couldn't get any bigger. Um, she's the first South African <laughs> ever to have her own personalized emojis. Nice. My personal favorite is Benang in the bathtub. Okay. Ooh, the Saucy. Nice. Benang <laughs> sipping that crass, oh, crasto. Oh. Crasto, crystal, both. <laughs> and then she also have one of the, a really confident gentleman sort of busting out of the closet okay. with a uh, little uh, rainbow flag. AKA analogy. makes a cameo appearance there as He's well. in like every yeah. other yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. but like, wow. I mean, I want a B-emoji. Very, very I cool. You B deserve a B-emoji, Nick. Just... You totally deserve a B-emoji. It's gonna be so an emoji though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or emoji, emoji, oh, emoji. Okay. All right, and then Tabuji, let's talk about some of the go the global trends making yeah. headlines mm, at the moment. Yeah. So guys, a lot of you know, guys are really coming into bag wear. And mm. a lot of the times we can see that metrosexuality is being completely redefined. Mm -hmm. And some of my favorite bags are perfect for every type of guy, starting with the moon bag. I don't know. Uh, the moon bag. The moon oh, no, no. bag. Now, gone are the days is this, um, this being like a tourist starter pack or whatever. This is all for guys wear it across your body to get that sports luxe type feel. Yeah. Or you can wear it across your waist to kind of get that cool kid vibe. Nice. You know what I mean? The second bag that I absolutely love is of course the backpack now this is not the one that you used to go to school with honey this one you just mm. bring it up with a bit of leather suede you can wear different ones in different mm. ways one shoulder two shoulder you are good to go <laughs> nice. and then the last and final one is absolutely one that's maybe not for everyone but we've seen the likes of Ricky Rick mm. and Jerry Mohofe wearing them um, mm. on various occasions yeah. it is the messenger oh. I absolutely love the messenger because it's practical it's durable mm. and it's so easy to rock yeah. yes oh. me you gotta be confident. Um, yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much, our style squad, cool. for keeping us in Fashion Check this week. But don't go anywhere because the fun times continues with our weekly edition of Fab or Fail. It's a no-holds-barred style review, so stay tuned. Yeah.